rings and squares. And we're gonna make one part at a time. So we're gonna make the middle part first, for which I've taken these two rings. And we're gonna join them using the black pipe. Like this. We're gonna take another pipe now and attach the rings to both the sides like this. And another black pipe. So now we have created the middle part using the rings and the pipe. And we're going to keep equal distance between the pipes. So you can readjust like this. Let's keep it aside for a bit and make another part. So now I'm going to attach these pipes on the ring. I've taken fluorescent green color pipes and we're going to need six of them. And now I'm going to attach all these six pipes on one of the white rings. We're going to attach two pipes in each section. There are three sections here, so two pipes go on each section like this. We're going to readjust the pipes so that they are equidistant. And on the other end of the each pipe, I am going to attach a square. For convenience, you can keep the square down on the counter and then stick the pipe on the edge like this. on the other ring too. Two on each section. And the last one. We can adjust it so that they're equidistant. You can match the position of the pipes, the upper and the down, and they should coincide. And also, the squares should be connected with the pipes at the center of the side like this. Alright, so that's done. And just like we attached the squares from the bottom ones, we're gonna attach to the upper pipes too, like this. You can pick your choice of the color for the squares. And let's check if all the squares are attached at the center by the pipes. Yes, they are. And both the pipes should be parallel. Now we're going to join the squares using the pipes. I'm going to use one sky blue color pipe. And a dark blue color pipe. And 
we're gonna join them at the corners like this. Similarly, we're gonna attach the upper squares with the pipes too. Just as we did at the bottom. So let's do that. And we're gonna use the same color scheme. One sky blue and one dark blue pipe. Let's get started. We're going to connect the squares from one corner to another. That's the light blue pipe. And now comes the dark blue. And we're going to make sure that we're going to join the corners. Like this. And the last one. Okay, let's make sure everything's connected properly. We can readjust. And make sure the structure is steady. Join the two opposite squares with the pipe too. And this time, let's take the dark green pipe. Hold it firmly. Clip it on on one of the squares. And then attach the other side on the other square like this. Alright, so we've completed the main structure of the joint wheel and now we're going to make the base. So let's get started. For the base, I've taken a big ring and a square. And we're going to join these two with the help of the pipes. So let's connect the pipes on the ring first. And then... Attach the other edges on the square like this on each side. Now we're going to attach these red pipes on the black pipe here. And two more. And now we're going to take the base 
and attach the other edges of the red pipe on the square like this. Alright, so our giant wheel is ready!